Hey Ezra! So your question for me was, what's a moment in history that horrifies you more than any of the others? Um, and I kind of went back to what I did for History Day, and I had, I think I had like three projects. So one of them was, um, uh, what did I do? I need to script these things. Um, I did a project on the Romanovs, so like killing off the Russian Tsar Zarina and his family, and I figured that was really bad, but like, it affected, I don't know. I don't know enough about it to know if it was like the worst thing to ever happen in history ever. So I figured that's probably not probably not a good enough answer. And then I did a project on Kent State, which is um, there was a sniper shooting at a college, if I remember right. And like while well, it affected a college and it was a great I know they were protesting war. And then, I'm really bad at this, Ezra, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I don't, again, I don't remember enough to know how many people it affected, but my, I think it was my second project, actually, where I did a project on the White Rose, which was um, a group in Germany protesting Hitler. So I'm very much like you were the Holocaust just horrifies me the most. I was on Facebook and this former Jefferson classmate of mine was like, hey, I'm gonna watch the boy in the striped pajamas. How is it? I'm like, it's bad. Like, not not that it's the movie is badly made, nor is the book badly written. It's just, it's horrifying to watch, especially when they're kids and they don't, they don't care. They, I don't know if you've seen it, but I'm going to seen it or read the book, but I'm going to spoil it for you. Both of the boys end up going to the gas chamber. <sighs> I was crying. I don't cry very much in movies. But, like, I don't know. Like, <sighs> so, yeah, just in general, I'm very much like you in, in that the Holocaust just horrifies the crap out of me. Um, so, Yeah. So my question for you. I have been working on an ethnography proposal. So like for my anthropology class, I have to spend I don't even know how much time I have to spend on this. 10 field encounters. What the hell? Well, anyway, I have to go out in the field and I have to like in the field and I have to, like, observe and or interact with a certain group of people, so I chose bronies, so I'm gonna follow some bronies around and just, like, see how they are as people, so I can, like, attempt to remove the stigma from bronies. And if you're not familiar, bronies are guys that really like the show My Little Pony. It's a decent show, too. I love it. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna, with this small college assignment, I'm going to attempt to remove the stigma because as soon as I mentioned that I wanted to study bronies for my project, my professor just burst out laughing, so I really think this is the thing that needs to be done. But my question for you is, were you doing the same assignment as I am? Which group of people would you want to study and why? Like, who would be most interesting to follow around? So, yeah! Um, I should actually probably go finish that and then do a bunch of reading and crap like that. Also, I finished my RA application, I sent it in, and now I'm just relying on two more references to turn stuff in for me. And then, I could potentially be your RA next year, ma'am. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. Yeah! Alright, for real now, I'm gonna go watch Arthur and do homework. That sounds like such a weird mix. Anyway. Bye!